to Art Stories. Today I'm going to talk to you about my new David Bowie inspired painting. Don't have a name for it yet? Maybe I'll think of something on this walk and then I'll re-edit this. Insert name. <laughs> so David Bowie died just a couple days ago and it was felt around the world. It's really, it was really tragic and caught us all by surprise because David Bowie's art was some of the best in the world. David Bowie's art captivated generations and stayed with us for decades. And just before his death, he released another album in some stunning act of art. And it was incredible. It is incredible, even without him dying only two days later. And I don't want to talk to you guys about death and sadness. I want to talk to you guys about how awesome life is to celebrate what an amazing impact he had. He tried to break norms. He tried to transcend boundaries. And he tried to make us all think of art in a different way. And because of that, it is really inspiring to me. Sometimes it's tempting just to be stagnant in your art and to do the same thing because that's what you're known for. But I just get bored of that. I don't like doing the same thing over and over and over again. I like trying new things. And that's why he was so inspiring to me. So I did this super weird painting with colors that I would normally never use and most artists never ever use. But I love it. It's weird and it's funky and I love it. And let's walk and talk about this. So I'm out for a walk with my puppy dog. She's right over there. She is 12 years old and she doesn't get to go out for walks anymore because it hurts her hips because she's so old. And so I've been make, taking her for little small walks while I film these videos because it's good for me to get out of the studio because filming videos in the studio is really boring. <laughs> and then we both get to be outside and you guys get to see what it looks like, which is snow. <laughs> There's snow everywhere. So I picked up a couple new colors. I picked up Thalo Turquoise, which is a man-made turquoise, which makes it really unique in color. It's actually my favorite green, and I didn't know this is what I was looking for my whole life. Thank you, finally found it. And I picked up Pale Gold, because that's weird. Dioxazine Purple is the other color I used, and then I mix it in with a little bit of white. Those are the only colors that I used. I think it comes together kind of harmoniously, but also weird. And I like that. I want it to be weird. I don't want things to look normal. How you doing, babe? Okay, you be careful, you're old. It's hard to talk about how I created something because it's a very spontaneous activity. I just feel like doing things. And that is what I felt like doing. In some places I felt like doing really dramatic brush strokes and in other places I actually painted over things that I didn't like. So I changed it a few times to have a different feeling. I really, really like the way it came out. It has structure but also it has fluidity. And then I wrote three words in it. I wrote life, brave, and fluid because I feel like those are some of the words that really captured David Bowie's art. It was very vivacious. He had a lot of life. He didn't stagnate. He wasn't boring. And he was very brave in taking new chances and breaking norms. And also, he was very fluid. Gender didn't really have boundaries to him. It was something that he could, tra he could move through just like water. So those are the things that I wanted to capture in my David Bowie piece. I wanted to make it something that I haven't done before, something really different, and I really feel like I captured that. It's weird and wacky. And there's snowmobiles behind us. I wonder if they're gonna come visit us. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's a YouTube card up at the corner, one of these corners. I'm really bad at pointing. And there's a little eye, a little circle. Click on that, it'll take you to my website, and you can subscribe. You'll be on a newsletter to see exclusive new paintings every month. Um, I've got a newsletter coming out on the 1st with a new painting and a new video, something that you haven't seen yet. Subscribe, I'll see you next week. Bye!